Hello again. Here is my next lap book that I made using the Blue China uh, paper pad from DCWV. To me, the blue looks purple, so I added purple embellishments to it. But here we have the open it pages. Butterflies, lots of butterflies. I love butterflies. On the front left page, we have a pocket, a full 8.5 by 11 pocket. More butterflies underneath. I didn't have to line it because this is the back side of the page that's turned over for this pocket. And it's used on the front to extend this page. Why is that? I need to make that smaller. There. And turn it there so it makes it a little more straight. In the center we have a tuck pocket, a tuck uh, belly band where you can have a full size uh, tag if you like. And we have also a little pocket here where you can have a full size piece of paper in there. Full height, not full width. Here we have a two sets of uh, waterfall cards. The little holder to pull it down is actually a piece of lace that I added between the, the back stabilizer and the back piece. And more butterflies, of course. You could take these butterflies off or just add your photo over the top of them if you didn't like the uh, wasted space there. But I liked it. Underneath here, we have a plastic pocket, which could be vellum, but in this case it's plastic. World is your oyster. Here we have a, a nice size pocket and a little pocket on top of it. That's more of that card. This is a double tag. On the other side, it flips the other way as well. You can see that it would fold open entirely this way. It's really a big sheet of file folder that this is made out of. Two more waterfall cards for lots of pictures or sayings or whatever you'd like to add to those. And when we turn this page, we have a nice big pocket here. And on the other side, can you see that pocket? Yes. On the other side, we have two more or less standard pockets. These are envelopes I made from the paper in the paper pad. They, they would fit, uh, ordinarily fit five by six and a half inch cards. There's a card. And since I like lots of pockets, I put these on with just tape on three sides so that I had an extra tuck space in behind them. Okay, so that was this side, the, the uh, hinged piece for this side. The hinged piece for this side has a tuck spot above the button, tuck spot below the button, just there. And then when you open this, it's an expandable file that you could put pencils or lots of uh, ephemera, whatever you'd like into a file. And it's got the gussets on the end, so that makes it open to a larger space than an ordinary, just an ordinary pocket. And that's closed with the button. Expandable because I have these uh, extra folds here so that it could, the, the, the uh, envelope closure could, expand so that if the whole pocket expanded a lot then you'd have the M the closure could expand with all these little folds on the side. And here we have a pocket in behind that expandable pocket. We have our normal pocket like on the other side, the envelope 
one that you can that's hinged to this and then on this side we have the two envelopes that are the five by six and a half and they have their tags available on the <laughs> back side of it. Here we have a pocket that is a little sideways pocket and behind it we even put a tuck space there and at in the center when it's fully open we have two large pockets one here one here that can hold eight and a half by inch by 11 inch paper. The folder itself when it's closed is uh, nine and a half inches wide by 11 and three quarters inches tall and when you close it and stand it up then it's about two inches thick unless of course you squish it and then it's about a half inch but if you've got very much stuff that you've added to it it's going to can stand up on its own at two two inches. Thank you.